Well, it's no secret that having the right play-by-play -play announcer can really make or break the fan experience. And today, the Detroit Tigers are adding Justin Benetti, or Jason Benetti, rather, to the broadcast team, best known for calling the White Sox games for the last number of years. But also, uh, you've probably heard him do basketball and football games at the network level. We bring in Rod Maloney for more on why uh, Benetti is making the move to the D from the C. Well, that's right, because Jason Benetti is a Chicago native, had his dream job there. He said he grew up imitating Ken Hawk Harrelson, who served as the White Sox play-by-play -play announcer for more than 30 years. So you may wonder exactly how the Tigers were able to talk him into coming here outside of paying him huge amounts of money. And well, I had the same question for him, and he asked, he answered it at the Zoom conference that they held this afternoon. I think the Tigers are on the move upward. 40-year-old Jason Benetti graduated from Syracuse University for broadcast journalism, graduated from Wake Forest Law School in 2011. But he did sports in between. Up the middle, over second into center field. Cabrera wins on a fastball on two strikes, and the Tigers have tied the game. And he admitted his decision to join the Tigers hit him hard this morning. I woke up this morning, no joke, and the first name in my mind was Maglio Ordonez. Because wow. when Maglio Ordonez left Chicago to go to Detroit, I was like, what did he do? He came to Detroit and became a hero. Jason has a wandering right eye and walks with a limp because of cerebral palsy, something he's worked hard to overcome and believes gives him some insight and connection to Detroit as to how it and how its baseball team are perceived. Sometimes people think I can't do stuff. And from a distance, again, gross generalization alarm going off, but from a distance, I think that's how Detroit gets treated. When the Tigers reached out to hire him, they sold him on the idea of creating a next-level baseball broadcast, matching his desire to achieve true excellence, along with having some fun. Sometimes you show up at a place and you say, oh my gosh, this is right. And I can't believe it's right because I'm leaving home, you know? Like, please don't underestimate how much I have to feel this to leave there. And so once again, remember that Jason does national television broadcast going to take him away from the Tigers about 35 games a year. And when that happens, Tigers radio voice Dan Dickerson is going to take the TV play by play chair. Benetti signed a multi year contract, by the way. Back to you. Uh, Rod, who, who did the Tigers play on opening day when we'll first get to hear Jason <laughs> take the mic? Yeah. A great interview, too, by <laughs> yeah. the way. Interesting, you should ask. It's going to be the Chicago <laughs> oh, White Sox. And isn't that to come something? full circle, they the first broadcast that Jason did for the White Sox was against who? The, the Detroit, Detroit, Tigers. Detroit Tigers. Isn't that amazing? Oh, the poetry here. It really yeah. is. Really he is. has done play by play sitting aside Bill Walton, yeah. which speaks to a oh. level of oh, combat. Yeah, he's, he's, right. he's, he's pretty darn good on his feet, that's incredible. for sure. Well, welcome to Detroit, yeah. Jason. We appreciate your story yeah. tonight, Rod. It was great. great.